Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at, and whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay, okay. So before I get into this message, message I will use my shamanic drum to clear the space, cleanse the energy, and we will go from there. <laughs> okay. I love that like I really feel the power of my drum now like things have really been impacting me different ever since I got my drum but the intuitive message I have for you guys today is you communicating with your guides and God automatically puts you in a higher vibration so with the first card that we have out that popped out was actually i was so excited to show you guys this one but i don't know why this one was with the when i grabbed the card deck this is from a different card deck and um i'm just looking at it as this light right here that's in the corner you're able to find your way out of situations because of your spirit guys because of your connection with the divine because of the connection with your um your soul tribe, um, your soul team, soul members that are in the astral planes. Um, you're becoming more aware of their signs. You're becoming more aware of when they contact you, how they speak to you, through you. Um, this could be lost loved ones that's part of your soul tribe, your spiritual team that's helping you ascend and accomplish a very big mission in this lifetime. You're finding your way out is what i'm hearing like through your knowledge through you going within through you always be being consistent with your prayers being consistent with speaking to your higher self and connecting with your higher self at all times um connecting with god at all times connecting with your soul tribe your spirit guide at all times like you know you became more awakened and aware throughout this relationship your journey with your experience of a spirit guide your spirit guide is also or your spiritual team is also learning from you learning from your life experience they're learning how to love you deeper and cherish you deeper protect you even more because it's so many it's so much detail with the soul when you learn the soul or you grow beyond the physical realm with us a living being human it's like a totally different set of experiences in life because it's like you're in the background creating a reality or protecting or sending signs into it and it's like your spirit guides were praying like please get my message please see my message please respond to it please act off of our signs type of thing and that's what you've been doing so your frequency has been rising you've been around certain people and they just you feel different you look different you glow different you flow different you fall to this frequency of life way different than other people because you are it's like rest assured you are okay like they they can tell you uh what is it called when you reassuring reassuring you your ancestors and your guides and your spiritual team is reassuring you at all times and it's making you more comfortable with your purpose in this life you know making you more open to um changes like rapid changes of being at an ultimate low to being at the highest high you know with them so it's like you but you've awakened to your spiritual team when you went through a dark night of the soul when you went through a dark time of your life that's when they came like when you became aware of them that was the time that you were needing to be aware of their energy so imagine the first time you heard about spirit guides or a spiritual team or you know of energies that are working for you for your highest good right and they're creating things they can see higher perspective they can see certain events they can see certain doors that need to be open at certain times you know it's like they want to make sure that your your destiny is set right um so it's like 
I'm seeing like the spiritual man it's going away right now um I'm seeing these like spiritual spirit guides looking at like celebrities lives like you all of our okay so our soul tribe or our soul team members that work for us at this moment in the spiritual realm they all have to get a divine yes like we can they look at your reality and they say if we create this for their reality is it can it get um agreed by god or by source because if everything has a divine plan yes yeah, so everything is already set in stone to an extent but then there's also things and lives and experiences being created on this realm we want to make sure that you're not your path your destiny isn't clashing with somebody else's destiny you right you know and some people have it's an order you know order of cycle and just you have to wait you know what i mean you're understanding that t it takes time for life big life events to change or a big it takes time and you have to be patient but with the foresight and the tea leaves it's like you can your spiritual team shows you a different perspective on the world and a different perspective of your life and how to um they they show you your future they give you glimpses of your future they let you know somebody's intentions before you meet them or they let you know their intentions right when you meet them it's like you're becoming more aware of your spiritual team when you're out in public i'm hearing you're seeing their signs even stronger out in public when you go to certain places i'm seeing per people who are able to see shadows in their room they would and it's not nothing negative but um this may be for a few people you know i might lose people depending on your if your third eye is open and awakened and if you've been working building this connection with your spiritual team the signs get stronger and your um intuition gets it's accurate it's like <sighs> Is, is very very accurate um so with that being said the dice and gamble card so it's like your spiritual team help you make the right take the right risk in life you know um they understand life is a risk and they want to make sure you're making these right decisions and you making the decisions as you rolling the, the dice you know you taking action as you rolling the dice in your destiny and your fate so um it's just you know, you're making sure that you're living for the right reasons now um and your spiritual team is making sure that you are living for the right reasons coins in abundance they can help you they can open doors for you so if it's a past on loved one or an inheritance or just a spiritual blessing of abundance from your ancestors something that been needed to be released in your bloodline it's going to be released with you because of how tapped in you are to your spiritual team your spirit guides everything is going to work for you in your life for you specifically okay um it's like everybody around you ain't gonna have they ain't gonna be in tune like you in tune for real you know you're gonna need to be that messenger you're gonna need to be that light bearer or the person who can see and interpret things as life goes so it just happened to me today i'm looking okay so it's one of these lights in our house that it take it, it's like a delay when i turn on the lights it's a delay so you hear what i say delay that keyword and then my brother kept flicking it on and off on and off and i'm like jordan just 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 please stop flicking it on and off and he i was like see you gotta wait for it sorry I, my mind was going somewhere you have to wait for it to turn on it's delayed right and that little thing just shows how impatient we are because you get the yes the light is delayed a little bit but it still turns on and um another thing is he wanted it on when he wanted it on and it wasn't turning on he had to wait for it to turn on and it just shows how impatient we are so you see how that little thing of a light just imagine you we got lights in our house all the time right but when that the, when the lights come out and you got to sit there for a couple of days because of that that's how i was just i was recently going on going with that or enduring that because um of the tornadoes that came in knocked the power out so it's like you you your instinct is quickly to turn on the light 
and I can't do any, even though the lights were off for hours, right? And it's crazy how your mind, it's all a mind thing. And mind you, it's like, it just shows our dependency on the lights, like me needing the light. And I'm just like, okay, next time I'm gonna be more prepared, get a generator. So um, that won't happen no more. Like we'll have light this time. But with that being said, that's, that's part of us taking control, another part of taking control. Because it's like when certain people's lights go out in the house, some people got generators and some people don't. So the people who got generators, all they got to do is just put, put the gas in it and let it go. You know what I mean? And it's like they can go about their life. So it's like while they're experiencing a different reality, we experience a reality with no lights. Right? So with that being said, today, <laughs> the lights... Um, just showing that they programmed us to be so impatient. We're so impatient. Um, we can't wait. We don't like to wait for things. So if we didn't want to wait till the light turned on, we're going to keep flicking it on and off until it finally turns on. When all you had to do was wait and the light was going to blink on. Just not, it's a delayed response. That's what, what I'm trying to say. And it was a delayed reaction. And um, sometimes even with life we're so impatient with things we don't want to wait for a lot of stuff um and i had to say this to myself and i'm gonna say it again i'm gonna say it again because i'm okay with reflecting on me and my past right so i said if i can wait for a man or a boy a man because i'm gonna give him his respect if i can wait for a man to change for four years like i waited four years and he still ain't changed though so i still took a loss right then that means i can wait four years or even more but i'm just giving that as an example i can wait four years for god to change my life or to create my reality my destiny this goal that i want i can't get antsy you know um I have to be patient and I have to wait and I have to be okay with waiting. So it's like you're becoming okay with waiting the process because you understand you are okay right now. Like things could be better, but guess what? That's what everybody could say in life. Somebody could have what you have, but there's still a scenario that they're going through. Like there's something that you want to have right now. Somebody already has and they're still waiting for change they're waiting for something different you see we're always going to keep chasing something or like wanting more of something um because we're just i don't want to say like greedy souls in a bad way but it's like we search for more purpose more experience and more life um for more elevation if you're with god you know and you're in that that's where you ride your energy frequency rides on the god wavelength and not like an organic being wavelength but um, 731, I just seen that on the clock. That's my grandma's time. Next card that we have is psychometry, sensitivity. So it's like you're becoming very sensitive to the um, signs that they give you. Sometimes it may be through TV, through songs, through um, a tap. Some people might feel cool breezes on their body. Their lights may flicker. Um, it may be really selective too. Like, I mean, real customized. You're your spiritual signs your your communication with the divine is definitely customized for you so it's not going to be relatable to everybody else it's just very sacred your connection with the divine is sacred and you see the importance of having spirit guides you know that it's you need to talk to them every day you have an altar or you need to create an altar or you need you have a sacred space that you pray at or you need to have create a sacred space to pray at so right here i just have my little setup this is just one version of my setups, but with that being said, um, one version of my setups, and I like to switch it up a lot. <laughs> I really do like to switch it up, so it's not going to be looking like this for long, because I just like new things, so maybe you like to switch things up, or that's what you need to do, switch things up around your house, change the energy of the room, change the energy of the car by moving things around, having it on a different side. So it's like, for instance, I have this, her praying right here. I can just put her on the other side, you know, just quick movements like that or even taking her off and putting some something else right here. But um, yeah, I definitely like to switch it up. So, yeah, that's... Oh, and then the last card that I have for you guys is the black cat. Good luck. So, if you've been seeing cats or you see cats anywhere, it's definitely a sign for you. Maybe you do have a cat, you have a pet, 
um and it's like or your cat can sense good luck coming to you if you have a cat she feels the energy she feels the change also um you could be sun gazing i just see like a sun image right here good luck so you're definitely on a winning streak right now like you're here to win you're here to thrive and you need to just stay keep doing what you're doing you know um don't let nobody else slow you down make you less determined don't let nobody make you doubt your faith and your purpose and in your blessings that are coming um know that it is coming uh you're not controlling the future you're not trying to be so dominant you're allowing your spirit guides to have input in your life you're allowing your spirit guides to make decisions for you um in this reality so um you're about to open your you're opening your door of luck right now because you um you communicating with your spiritual team is what gave you that access and unlocking it you couldn't be you had to be woke you had to be super fully aware of your spiritual team every second of the day knowing when they're sending you signs to do certain things go certain places don't go certain places you're allowing the divine to decide for you and that's when you're getting the best you're getting the they know they have the best of you they already have the image they already know who you're going to be so you're allowing them to create your reality you know uh you're, you're kind of like taking your hand a little bit off the wheel you probably got one hand on the wheel and your other spirit guy got the other hand on the wheel you know how it's, you can have two or one you got one and they got the other so it's like you you guys are working together you and your spiritual team you and god are working together but that's what i got for you guys <coughs> bless you I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.